Hey, this is Amy Reader. Um, so yeah, we took this character and we aged her bit by bit. This was our result. Um, and now I traced her luckily before I did all this. And, um, and we're gonna take that tracing and we're gonna make her younger and younger. So we're gonna go in the opposite direction. Um, first thing that we're gonna wanna do is uh, move that nose up. So the face lengthens as you get, as you go through your teens. So the nose is gonna be higher. We're gonna see um, more of the nostril. This looks pretty weird right now, but of course we're gonna lift her mouth too. Cause yeah, this is the part of the age where um, the structure of the face changes. I should probably be changing, before I do the mouth, I should probably figure out where the chin is. That's probably a better idea. So what you do is, usually if somebody's a lot younger, their, their cheek, like the part where kind of the cheek starts changing direction and goes into the chin, um, happens lower and lower on their face. Um, as you can see, like that bend is higher up here. There's also kind of a thing down here, but but yeah, it's like the cheekbone becomes more pronounced as you get older. At first, you don't really show much of a cheekbone. So, here we've got this, and then we go and we figure out where to put a mouth accordingly. I like to kind of just color it in first um, before I actually draw lines. That really helps me plan where I think it would go naturally without like committing to anything too quickly. Kind of wish I had a third tracing of this just so that I could make sure that the character looks consistent. Um, but yeah, her, her lips are going to look probably a little more plump. Um, and her chin is going to, this, this angle here is going to be really a lot closer to horizontal compared to this. See how just moving the, um, and then also just making sure that the corners of her mouth, mouth are closer in than they were before. That's gonna make somebody look young if their mouth is really, really short um, from side to side, okay? Then also we'll open up her eyes a bit. We're not gonna see much of the fold of her eyes we're gonna see a lot of eyelashes. I don't know why my voice keeps cracking, but you know, that happens. Um, you'll probably see her eyebrows go higher and really round. Not, you don't wanna make them too thick when somebody's younger. They're still kinda of growing in. And they'll just kinda of be rainbow shaped, you know, like nice and round and like that. And they'll be higher up on the head because the uh, the brow like slowly pushes its way outward and that makes um, like the forehead juts outward and then that makes the eyebrows go lower. Um, so there's that. And then if you want somebody to be even younger looking, I think the fastest way to get to that point would probably be to make the eyes bigger. So let's make the eyes bigger. Because bigger eyes indicates that basically everything else is smaller. Um, kids seem like they have really big eyes because they, um, because the rest of their face is smaller. I think the eyes stay the same size. I could be wrong. Maybe eyes grow a little bit, but not as much as everything else in the on the face. You could draw the eyes a little bit cross-eyed. That kind of makes it seem more innocent looking, you know? Uh, ultra focused, I suppose. Okay. So, um, and then we're gonna lift those eyebrows even higher up here.
and keep them nice and thin. These eyes are really open, but they don't look super open because we see that the iris is really big. So yeah, make sure that your irises are nice and big. There we go. So yeah, see the person automatically looks younger because of that. Now let's see if we can do anything here. Let's, let's also make the neck smaller because they, when they're littler, the trick to kind of making a face look right uh, with a small body is actually having a skinny neck. The skinny neck helps kind of determine the body size, in my opinion. It's harder to draw um, a young person without first, uh, you know, with a small body without first kind of doing their neck. And then the neck kind of makes it all make sense. So they got this tiny neck on this huge head, or under this huge head. Probably body is a little too small. But yeah, something like that. Okay, now let's see, let's make this person so this person now looks like a little kid, like probably like six, I would say. Let's make this kid more of like a toddler age. So we're gonna seam their nostrils a lot more easily, like this. And We're just gonna shift everything up again. So the the mouth is going to be up like this. Chin is gonna be really round. It's not gonna have much angularness to it. I actually think I'm go. That's mm, that doesn't look quite right. Uh, I should just do this first. I should be doing the shape of the face first. Oh, and you can make them have bigger cheeks. So now, see how it branches out? Instead of going straight down from where the eye was, now it's going out because we've got big puffy cheeks. Let's see here. Let me just, see this is how I usually plan out where the facial features go is I, I have like a shorthand. So yeah. The cheeks are pushing the che uh, the lips together, so they're going to be even closer to each other. I, I make like really uh, deep, deep corners of the mouth. Um, well, maybe I'll draw this just because it's like the cheeks are so big that it's kind of like pushing the lips together and pushing them out a little bit. And then we're going to see a lot of the nostril, like I said. Maybe... Uh, rather than like usually I like to draw like a dip right here but maybe this time because it's just so small and and this part's so flat I'm gonna go like that instead and have the curve go up um, and let's see here so I'm trying to make a toddler this is not quite toddler to me yet let's see what do I want to do I think it's the body that's off to me. Oh, it's probably the hair too, because hair is not going to grow out this well at this point. It's not going to be so full grown. You got baby hairs. And also, the forehead, the forehead is going to have, be really, really round right here, and then it's going to descend here. Like, somebody who's older goes more like that. But the forehead and the cheek really jut out when you're a little kid. And, and whereas normally, it, like the eyebrow, the part of the eyebrow is where it juts out, it actually goes up higher. It's almost like the forehead sticks out farther than your 
eyebrows do. So super, super thin eyebrows. Let's see. Let's draw some baby hairs. They're usually a little more curly. Really fine. Most people don't like cutting their kids' hair for a little bit. So it ends up getting a little bit wild at that stage. And then let's change up the body a little bit. Because the body's too big. She still doesn't look quite like a toddler. So let's draw the neck even thinner. See, now the person looks like a toddler, okay? Make the corner of the eyes just completely round at this point. Very toddler-esque. And if you want anything like a, like any sort of fold, you could kind of have it go where, where the upper lid kind of converts into this line that diverts from the lower lid like that. That's like a way you could Draw a fold while still maintaining like a, as, a look as if it's youthful, you know? But I don't want to do it on this side. I just want to do it on that side, I think. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then let's, uh, let's try to turn this into a baby. Hope I can figure it out. Um, okay, let's see here. Baby, baby, baby. So a lot less hair. And it goes like, the head kind of goes a little bit um, flat up here. Yeah. So let's see, what kind of hair is she going to have? I, I bet she had like one of these situations. She looks a little bit too smart. Let's uh, <laughs> it's probably because of the eyebrows. Let's see. I think her mouth looks a little too confident. At this point, maybe we will push the mouth over that way a little bit more. See how it's even closer together and even more full looking? And uh, probably the ear at this point should be a lot smaller. I haven't done anything with the ear this whole time. But it's going to be pretty tiny. Ears grow throughout your age. Make the cheek even rounder. Still looks too smart. Too, too, by smart I just mean aware. <laughs> now I'm making the person just look surprised, but.
Yeah, see, th th this to me looks more like baby. There we go. And maybe we will just have the eyebrows go up instead of down at all. And, you know, it's like these cheeks can get really ridiculous. So, yeah. Cool. And then, of course, the body is just going to be crazy. They have a lot of fat at this point, even though they're so tiny. Uh, but their skin, a lot of times the uh, they're just kind of like the Michelin man a little bit. So, like their neck does this little dip thing, and then this would be like a t-shirt or like a onesie or whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about the body too much, except to just kind of indicate it. I, I don't want to concentrate on that, but yeah. So see, there's a baby. Here, it helps if you say goo, goo. Ta-da! Okay, well thanks for sticking with me here. Hopefully you learned a little bit about age. Here's my little peoples that I ended up with today. Definitely went through the span of time in a small amount of actual time. Thanks for watching. Bye!